These octajaw cucumbers are going out of control. I bet my neighbors think I am crazy. All right, so hey, uh, as you can see, these octajaw cucumbers that we planted just a few months back, not even that long, I don't think, but uh, they are just sprouting, or they are sprouting, yeah, they're just sprouts. They're going like crazy up this trellis, and, uh, you know, I don't know, that's like 48 inches and of trellis, and, uh, man, they're just, they're going crazy. And so uh, I knew this day would come where, where I'm going to need to extend it out, and I thought, well, maybe I could just take it up all the way to the ceiling, which is probably... Oh, two foot, but that's not going to contain them. Um, I've, I've tried weaving them in, and uh, they're just going, they're doing whatever they want to do. See, they have these little tentacles on them, and once they grab hold of it, they wind it, they wind around whatever they uh, get close to, and that's, they even do that to the to some of the other plant that's, uh, that's growing next to the vine, so... My plan is, is I'm going to, uh, I measured it out, I'm a, I've got a lot more of this uh, four foot uh, welded wire fence. And I'm going to just extend it from here, but not just go straight up. I'm going to arch it over and probably go, I don't know, like 10 foot and uh, just kind of let it hang from the ceiling here. And uh, I think that the, I think the vineage will just trail along. Now, one thing that's not going to be good in here is it's going to actually, once it gets full and lush of vineage, it's going to uh, cause a lot more shade on some of these vegetables in here, but hi, that's the trouble of living next to the highway, you got people driving by and uh, when you have lots of family living by you, everybody honks, so that's a good time, but uh, so anyway, we're going to go get some of this uh, welded wire and arch it over, we're going to attach it to the ceiling, like I said, and uh, stay tuned, this ought to be fun. for the uh, Atacha cucumbers in the greenhouse. So I need to cut off two 12 foot sections of it. It should be pretty close to that. Uh, let's see what we got. seen that or not but it was coiled up and whenever that whenever I cut that last uh, wire that stuff just come up and sprung and hit me right in the face that was really close totally should have been wearing some glasses on that All right, so here's what I decided. All along this top row here, uh, you, you see the oh the little tentacles that wrap around the top wire. We're gonna have to uh, probably, you know, tear most of those or or not worry about them being torn anyways. But if any of them, if any of the main vineage like this one here, which is on the other side and is crossing over, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to definitely take that off of the top here and let it hang and then what we'll do is once we get our our new uh, wire all of that right there once we get that connected and draped over then we'll take these and start training them back up how they should go I will say that this vineage is pretty tough because I'm not being super aggressive with it but I'm not being real careful with it either and it's none of it's broke yet. I 
Well, that wasn't too hard especially with my recruitment number one wife and uh, now I'm just kind of all this tangled mess that we pulled off here that was pretty much the the overload uh, from from our just our standard four foot trellis we're gonna take these little tentacles here and since they're already curled over we're gonna kind of train it to go up but I think it'll have no problem here in the next day or two just to keep taking off Hey, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate you watching our videos. Uh, if you got any comments or questions, leave them below. But I think this, uh, I think this year we're gonna have one excellent harvest of Achicha cucumbers. These things are already uh, having little nodules here coming in. They're they're turning yellow. That's where the uh, buds or the flowers are gonna be, which will turn into the uh, uh, the Achicha cucumbers. And if you haven't ever seen an Achicha cucumber, man, it's it's awesome. You know the the seeds are, are pretty rare. We're going to have quite a bit of them for sale this year. And uh, Zach Bauer over at American Homestead, he's got some for sale right now. And uh, I'll link that. I'll link his video right here. You can go click on that and get all his information. And uh, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to sell them to you. I, I think they're pretty cheap, five bucks for like 10 of them. And all of this right here, I'd say we're uh, eight, eight to uh, 10 seeds. All of this right here and I guarantee it's gonna fill up this entire trellis so maybe in two more months we'll be harvesting it's gonna be an excellent year for them because we're gonna have our arbor that's out in our garden that will have at least twice this many uh, cucumbers growing on it so again thanks again for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you on the next video